devastating news rocking the entertainment world today. Longtime DJ on the Ellen DeGeneres show, Stephen Twitch Boss, has died by suicide. He was 40 years old. Yeah, in a statement, his wife said he was the best husband and father and an inspiration to his fans. They'd actually just celebrated their ninth wedding anniversary. Entertainment journalist and pop culture expert Brian Balthasar joins us now. Uh, Brian, it's good to see you this Wednesday, but just a really sad occasion. I mean, what do we know thus far? How did this news really come out, and, and how are his loved ones now dealing in this pretty shocking aftermath? Well, yeah, it, it is shocking. And I, I can just say from a personal standpoint, having had the opportunity to, to interview both him and his wife, oh. that he was a, a lovely, kind, generous, fun human being, all the things that we've seen on all these shows he's been on so for so long. Um, to, to, to lose him so young is devastating. What, what reports are saying right now is that um, he left his home without his car, and that, that that was an alert to his wife, Allison, at, that mm -hmm. she then went to police and that he was later found in a hotel um, uh, due to a, what we, is believed to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. And so obviously the family's as anyone would be, is devastated. And so are so many people in the industry and those who have worked with them. I I personally, I think we're all in a little bit of shock because there was such a, a, a glow that came about from mm -hmm. his, his feed as he and his wife portrayed it on, on, on Instagram, They're followed by millions and millions of people shared in the joy that was to watch this family dance and enjoy time together. So it's obviously just a devastating loss. Yeah, I count myself among those millions. Brian, I followed them on Twitter and on Instagram. Love to see their family, their dancing videos. And to hear him, he's been on the Today Show as well. And I, I concur with everything you're saying. Just so positive, so kind. And it just goes to show there's so many things that can be happening that we don't always know about. But talk to us about the reaction, because I'm looking at my Twitter feed, and everyone is paying tribute to Twitch, to his family, to his children, and talking about his legacy. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you, you said it best. If you scroll through your feed, you're seeing not only is it being reported everywhere, but by people whose lives were touched by mm -hmm. Twitch and are still touched by his wife and family and, and being able to see their love unfold on social media and hear how they met on talk shows. Mm -hmm. and, and So you think in advance is how they met, but like hear them share their stories was always such a pleasure. And I think, you know, sometimes it's hard to know how much love there is for you and you know this is this is one of those moments i think is important when we talk about this you know it's we don't always know what depth someone's sadness is sometimes and if you're feeling that to seek help there is help out there um and mm -hmm. it's sometimes the hardest thing to do to to go get it or seek someone who can help you but you know here's a, here's a, a beautifully generous talented incredible man who, who mm -hmm. we would love to have seen much more unfold for him in his career and his life mm -hmm. um unfortunately this one was cut short but if hopefully we can learn from this to to get help if you need it and we love him we'll, we'll we send our prayers to him and his family we adore him he brought so much light to the world brian thank you so much ellen degeneres is mourning the loss of dj twitch she took to twitter writing i'm heartbroken twitch was pure love and light he was my family and i loved him with all my heart and i will miss him Please send your love and support to Allison and his beautiful children, Wesley, Maddox, and Zaya. I know Ellen and Twitch had a very special bond. I'm sending her and the rest of his friends and family so much love during this hard loss. Stephen Twitch Boss has died. Boss's wife, Allison Hoker, confirmed his passing in a statement issued to People, saying in part, Stephen lit up every room he stepped into. He valued family, friends, and community above all else, and leading with love and light was everything to him. She went on, he was the backbone of our family, the best husband and father, and an inspiration to his fans. In closing, Allison shared a message for her husband as she wrote, quote, Stephen, we love you, we miss you, and I will always save the last dance for you. Boss rose to fame as a contestant on MTV's The Wade Robson Project before becoming a runner-up on Star Search. He later competed on So You Think You Can Dance in 2008, ending season four as a runner-up and later returning as an all-star. He also served as a judge when the show returned in 2022. In 2014, Boss joined The Ellen DeGeneres Show as a guest DJ. He eventually became a permanent fixture on the series and was elevated to co-executive producer status in 2020. Stephen Twitch Boss was 40 years old.